Uh, hello, good morning viewers. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve an exact differential equation. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. So basically, the general form of an exact differential equation is given as uh, m dx plus n dy equals zero. This is the general form of an exact differential equation where the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial der derivative of n with respect to x. If this condition holds, then we say this is an exact differential equation. So, to understand this clearly, let us refer back to the implicit differentiation. If you could remember in implicit differentiation, we do differentiate a multivariable function in this form. A function that contains both x and y implicitly equals some certain constants. To find the total derivative of this function, let us apply the general Chan rule. Uh, which says that and the derivative of this function of this implicit function is going to be partial derivative of f with respect to x dx then we add we now differentiate the function with respect to y partial derivative of f with respect to y dy and this is equal to, remember, if you differentiate a constant, you definitely have to obtain 0. So this is 0. So now, by relating this equation and this equation, you can see that m corresponds to the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we can say m is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And n corresponds to uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to, to y. So the question is, how can we solve this equation to obtain back our original function? This is what I will show you today. So in order to understand this clearly, let me bring an implicit function, differentiate it to obtain this form of equation, and see how we can solve it back to obtain our initial function. Uh, suppose this is our implicit function. To differentiate it using the total derivative, we have to apply uh, the general chain rule, uh, which is f prime of this function, x and y. You know it is going to be the partial derivative of f with respect to x dx, plus we differentiate the function again with respect to y. We have to take the partial derivative of f with respect to y, dy. And you know, by differentiating a constant, we have to get zero. So now let us substitute. This is equal to anywhere we have x, we have to differentiate, treating y as constant. So this becomes 3x to the second power. This is constant, it becomes zero. We move here, uh, we treat every other term as constant except x. So differentiating x, we get 1 we have 3y squared left and all this we have dx then plus we differentiate the function again with respect to y you can see what we have here as 3y to the second power again if you differentiate uh, y squared you are going to obtain 2y multiplied by 3x you have to obtain 6xy uh, and we have dy and the whole of this equal to zero. So this is the form of an exact differential equation, but we have to test whether it is really exact or not. Remember, this is our m, uh, because we see the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to that term that is connected with dx. So we say m is equal to three x squared plus three y squared, while n 
is going to be this terms equal to 3y squared plus 6xy. So to testify whether it is an exact or not, we are going to differentiate this with respect to y. Uh, to understand this clearly, you can see the one that is attached to dx, you're going to differentiate it with respect to y. And that that is connected to dy, you differentiate it with respect to x. So we say d partial derivative of m with respect to y is going to be, this is constant. If you differentiate this, you have 10, 6, y. Now we do the same thing here, we differentiate this n with respect to x alone, treating y as constant. So this becomes constant. If you differentiate x here, you have 10, 1, then 1 times 6 times y is 6, y. You can see that uh, the partial derivative of m with respect to y is 6, y. And likewise, the partial derivative of n with respect to x is also 6, y. Since this is equal to this, we conclude by saying it is an exact differential equation. Since it is an exact differential equation, let us find out how we can solve it. From here, you can see that 3xy plus 3y squared is the same thing as the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we have the partial derivative of f with respect to x. This is equal to 3x squared plus 3y squared. Now to obtain our original function, which is this, we are going to integrate both sides of this equation with respect to x. So we say by integrating the left-hand side, we are going to obtain f, which is also a function of x and y. This is equal to the integral of uh, 3x squared plus 3y squared dx. But remember, we are going to treat uh, y as constant here. This is equal to, if you integrate this first term, the power has to increase by 1, making 3, you have to divide by 3. That 3 will cancel this 3, leaving only x to the power of 3. Plus, all these are constants. If you integrate a constant with respect to x, you just have to attach x to the constant. So we have 3xy squared plus our constant of integration, but that constant must be with respect to y because we treated y as constant in this expression. So this is our original function. But our original function does not contain c of y. So how can we figure out what exactly this c of y is? Remember, uh, this is a partial derivative of f with respect to y. Therefore, we can also differentiate this with respect to y. I relate the two functions. So let's do that. Partial derivative of f with respect to y, which is this. We are going to treat x as constant. Therefore, this becomes 0. If you differentiate this, this 2 multiplied by 3, we have 6 x, y, and 2 will reduce by 1, um, plus this is also a term with respect to y, so we have to differentiate it. We have c prime of y. It means that this function must be exactly as this. You can see we have 6xy here. We equally have 6xy here. This means that c prime of y must be equal to this 3y squared. So we say c prime of y is equal to this 3y squared. But what we are looking for to complete our function is c of y, not c prime of y. Therefore, we are going to integrate both sides with respect to uh, y. So by integrating this side with respect to y, we're going to obtain only c of y. And this is equal to the integral of 3y squared with respect to uh, y. c of y now will become equal to, this power will increase by 1, making 3. You divide by 3, you obtain y to the third power, plus another constant of integration. So we are going to substitute y 
to the third power plus k in this main function to obtain our general solution. So now let's do that by substitution. So now our function of x and y, which is this, is equal to x to the third power plus 3x to the second power plus c of y, which we have here as y to the third power plus k, our original function is equal to some certain constants. And you can see we have another constant here, which we can uh, directly remove it from here and here. And a constant, subtracting a constant, is also a constant. So we can leave it as equal to some certain constant. So now by relating, you can see we have x to the third power here. We equally have it here. y to the third power is also here. You can see this term is also here. What is missing is 8, but 8 is a constant. You can see we have a constant here. Suppose we are given an initial condition. We can substitute the values of y and x back to substitute and obtain the corresponding value of c, which is definitely has to be equal to 8. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.